Memories, they come to us in so many different ways. Childhood pictures, a favourite pen, that old desk that my mother used to work at, that nostalgic feeling sends shivers up my spine. Today, I got a package from an old friend. When I opened it, I was flooded with the same feeling of nostalgia. Everything he sent me takes me back to that unique adventure that we shared. I am Alana. I was born profoundly deaf, but that sure didn't stop me from trying new adventures. I love exploring the great outdoors braving new activities, and trying delicious vegetarian foods. Through this program, I am learning more and more about cherishing and protecting our Earth. Now, follow me. day to go camping and I mean real nitty-gritty camping. I've got all my resources in this big backpack and I'm leaving the city and all of its technology behind. The only problem is I'm not much of a camping expert. Thankfully we have someone here today who's going to help guide us through this experience. In医院工作,特别会看到一些人的死亡,一些人的生命的过去。然后那时候我才真的去认真去想说,天哪,那我自己,我自己到底为什么要活到这个世界上?当然我一路遵从的父亲,母亲,整个社会的主流价值,好好
prudently observe all the details surrounding us. Wow. And I have a question that I think is a bit misconception. Uh -huh. I'm asking him, does he have any shoes? I, I have Do a we shoe. Need shoes to go up? I have a shoe, it's skin shoot. With shoe and without shoot. Actually, for me, the foot is another eye. He can tell me what information in the ground. So even I don't need eye, I can feel information in the ground. No, you don't need a skier. No I will teach you. Okay. Okay. Maybe, maybe later. I studied Leo's every move. Looking, smelling, touching. I tried to let go of my fears and forget my worries, keeping my mind focused on the present. I allowed myself to get more and more intimate with the natural world. Is it lucky something? Oh, <laughs> Actually, we can eat. Mm. Have. <laughs> Did you like? Mm. A little bit shun. But a bit, uh, what? Shun. Yes, it's yeah. a bit sour. Uh huh. Mm. You eat in there? Hmm, quite not. Are you sure it's edible? <laughs> this now have some. There's <laughs> a bug on the back of mine. You can eat this? Of course. Some of them are poisonous. Mm, this is not this one. <laughs> are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's sour. <laughs> it's pretty good, actually. Sometimes uh, the Asian people living here, when they hunting or walking in the mountain, and then they, have, they need water, but so the water is not very cool. They eat that. You can try it. So you eat this if there's not water nearby. This is your supply of water. <laughs> this is what you made me throw my water bottle away for. This, this is my new water supply. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's even more sour! Yeah. Yeah. So you uh, didn't tell me that. Your mouth water will pop. Wait, yeah. <laughs> wow. Whoa. It's delicious, but it's sour. Yeah, it's sour. <laughs> it's quite good. I like it. A little yeah. cold air in here, and some people <laughs> put yeah. the trash in here. Why? Do you pick up the trash along the way? Yeah, sometimes. Mm. If I can, because mm. I hope every time, yeah. any place, because we can't become better, not yeah. become like this. <laughs> you want to improve the environment? Yeah, <laughs> because if we like, we love, we should doing better thing in here. Leo told me that before we enter the forest, we have to offer our gratitude to the mountain spirit. Each time he comes to a place that he's never been to before, he will listen intently. The more he hears, the more he feels that everything is supporting and protecting us. We are connected to the plants, trees, insects, and animals in this forest. How do we give thanks to them? How do we cultivate gratitude for this forest? I 
I can show you how to slowly walk in here, okay? You can just follow me. We can easy to walk in here. If you feel here, have like this, have a roof. Do we hold on to the rope? You just, just feeling that. We don't need a very tight carry. Easy to walk in here. Okay. <laughs> this is so steep. <laughs> I have terrible balance. What kind of deep balance? <laughs> no protection! <laughs> I just got into the forest and I'm already starting to get nervous. I think I'll add something else to my worries list. This mountain trail seems pretty dangerous. Oh, but, but, Leo has been encouraging me to trust myself and to keep going. The tone of his voice has a soothing effect. Little by little, I am beginning to appreciate Leo's perspective. Being in the forest, you don't have to worry too much. It is okay to embrace and enjoy nature. Look like have some animals have been eat there. I think it's a small one and uh, we try to eat your tea. A bug or a... Like, a I don't know the English name, but uh, it's a small like deer, like uh, in Taiwan, small deer. <laughs> like feel like this, this big. Wow. Like a small puppy. Leo began to show me how to track animals. These are the tracking techniques he learned at the North American Wilderness School. Ancient techniques used by native people such as tracking, observing changes in the forest, following natural rhythms, and utilizing resources for survival are all considered forms of tracing. Running! Look how clear the water is, it's so fresh. Completely clear fresh spring water. Is it when we start to drink water in the water? We just believe that we don't know how it came out of the water. We think that it's okay to drink it, but we don't want to drink it really well. But we don't want to drink a really clean water to clean the whole river. Let's cross the river. I'm a city girl. Have some patience with me. It's hot and it hurts. It's hot. Not so easy. Sometimes. I am becoming more attuned to the sound of Mother Earth. I can feel her presence within me. It's truly amazing. He just make it oh ooh, ay, it's... Oh, <laughs> 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 
我老师想跟我说过一句话：，当你依赖的越少，你的自由就越大。所以到最后，我们发现，我们只是回到伊甸园，我们其实从来没有离开过伊甸园。所以这一切只是回到一个真实：，这个地球，大地母亲的孩子，而且我们一直都是，从来没有离开。It's true. I can feel my worries being washed away as I immerse myself completely in nature. With Leo leading us, we work together, quickly gathering firewood and preparing the sleeping quarters for the night. Did you have sleeping in a while before? Where are we sleeping? Ooh, we need a building a house. We're going to build a house? A small shelter. Here? Yeah. Out of what material? Oh, in here. So, today we will try to build a house in here. Actually, it's a shelter. It's an easy wooden house in here. Uh, very small, easy to make. strong study setup is going to be my shelter for the night, which I do not know. You can use your swimming bed. Um, I'm feeling a little nervous about it because <laughs> it doesn't look too steady. Not yet. And there's spiders coming down the tree right now. And there's snakes in this environment <laughs> like we just saw. And the tree looks like it's about to fall. So I'm doing the thing, not to remind everyone to go back to the ancient era or to say it's a very wild kind of life. But it's through this process, we understand that we are related to the natural life. have a place to sleep. One way to know shelter is really good is if it's not visible from the outside. Can you find the shelter behind me? I don't like use fire in the just in the forest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because there's a lot of accidental mass fires. Yeah. So if we finish this fire, we need to disappear the fire check. Mm -hmm. We hope a another people come here. They could find any fire in here before. No. Oh. It's better because. Everyone wants to the nature, but don't want to some people make some mess. Mm-hmm. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. So we need a thinking very, very far future. Mm-hmm. We need a thinking about our grand 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 我们要一个木板嘛，一个引火轴，一个 h a n d h o l 用弓带动它在旋转
，然后我很喜欢美国原住民的传说，他说这是两个木头之间在谈恋爱，他们要是谈得很快乐的话，他们就会生出火的小孩，一点点火的小孩，所以这个工具，这个伙伴，他教会我一件很重要的事情，不是我要把你的火生起来，而是我。要呼唤这个木头里面的火，我们要帮助木头谈恋爱。我们只是一个媒人的角色，我们只是一个戒指，去呼唤它，让它可以生出来。所以它让我学习到一些像是谦卑，像是这一切都没有理所当然。最重要一点是自由吧。当你越来越感谢这一切的存在的时候，当你不觉得这一切都是理所当然的时候，你就越不可能浪费，你就越不可能破坏。Eat together. I think that eat together is very important. Yeah, no people eat first. No people eat later. We together start to eat. Mm. Together eat. I think is very beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know the best part of this whole trip. Was waking up in the morning. It was tiring to get here, sure. But when you wake up and you have this fresh air and you can hear the water, um, you can see the green trees, and you don't have a cell phone with a million messages to answer to. When I'm sitting here, I'm realizing how alive the Earth is. We can't think of it just as a natural resource. We have to think of it as a living ecosystem that we really have to respect, cherish, protect, and love. We are the nature, the nature. 自然可以没有人类，可是人类没有办法没有自然，所以到了最后，我们很友善的对待自然，其实也是等同于我们很友善的对待自己。experience, I learned a great deal in a single day. We came together as a group and overcame adversity together. We worked hard but enjoyed working together. We struggled but laughed. We only took what we needed and produced no waste. What a simple and beautiful experience. I know I'll never forget it. Yes, we are all Earth's children. Yeah, like, like a new Go, 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 go,
so tired. I wanna go home. Home, my sweet home. Oh! <laughs> <laughs>